I might got out to a, a early start and thought we were going to play well. And we had, again, we, we practiced tremendously well all times, and for whatever reason, the last couple, two out of the last three games, we have not carried it to the floor for an extended, extended period of time. Um, but what you, you have to do is you got to have give Stetson the credit because they're on the road. Um, we got out to an early lead, but they didn't. They didn't stop on their game plan. They played solid defense and ran their offense. And um, a, as a result, you know they were able to you know handle us pretty easily. I thought because I, we we just couldn't make the shot. Well, every night we go out there, it's the same story. We just have to do certain things um, defensively, and it's it's simple fundamentals. Um, but you have to be able to be willing to do every possession. And every time we have a breakdown now, it's cost us. And um, that, that's the thing. Whether it be, you can, you can neutralize height by doing things fundamentally and being in the right spots and blocking out things like that. Now, you can't control a bad bounce if it's a little too high or whatever, left or right of it. But when you don't do the fundamental things, you're going to get exposed even more. And that's our issue right now. Half of their threes came off of offensive rebounds when we should have had the basketball. And those are the reasons that you know, we had a four-game winning streak and we were doing those little things. And the last three games, we have not. We have not done enough times. And, and that's why we went three in the last three. Every day in practice, the fundamentals, offensively and defensively. And, and it's a matter of just being able to do them you know, more in the game. And, and the other side of it, we just have to have people step up and start making some, making some shots right now. When you look at some lines, and you, you see the production. We don't have an opportunity to win. We, we really don't. Win. Um, we only have one guy who may make plays, make shots every night, and that's Ashante Jones, and he, he struggled with that tonight. You wish they didn't have to have the match. You wish you had. It's like a donut. We don't have anything in the middle right now. We wish we had something in there, and, and but. They, they have to be in there. I mean, we have four of the classmen, the rest are all freshmen, so they have to be on the floor. Um, does it help them right now? Hopefully, yes, absolutely. Being out on the floor and going through this, better it, it's better than sitting in practice and all that stuff, but it doesn't help coaches <laughs> because obviously we'd rather have upperclassmen been through these things and, and um, because they, they've proven that they're more consistent night in and night out that way. He's been, and it almost seems like we, we say this all the time about freshmen, even our own guys, like the upper freshmen. He said he's been pretty big on good practice the last week and a half, two weeks. And I'll go down the truck, you'll see some non productive, and I'll tell you the same thing about those who aren't who struggled in practice, and that's what it is. It, it's just one of those things now. It's ironing out that, making it more consistent, and that's what we have to have. And the other thing is, we're in the later, late in the season. And it's starting, maybe the light's going on a little bit more. Uh, and that's what you hope happens with the freshmen. And like you said, having them on the floor, that does give them up to for the light to come on a little bit quicker. They don't have to sit there and really just watch. How are you going to prepare for your next opponent on the road? Well, we have to do the same things. I, I mean, basketball is a pretty simple game. It, it really is. There, there's no magic formula. You have to be strong fundamentally on offense and defense. Now what we do have to, we have to really get back to being a tougher team offensively because the Stetson, you know, you make a cut just like Lipscomb did, and they're very physical. They're very, very physical. Well, we weren't willing after the first two, three minutes when the shots weren't going in to really, really work at it. And so that, that's the difference. We have to have a willingness. And so right now we have to look at that lineup. You know what, maybe we don't have five stars right now. Maybe we shake it up a little bit. And to, that's probably what's going to happen. And it probably needs to happen right now just because we just need a little boost from somewhere. And sometimes a little perspective of sitting on the bench as opposed to being on the floor helps you. It's hard to sit here after a loss because we want them to experience the win so bad, especially at home. The crowds, I can't be more proud of the people working for us, starting Dr. Green, the people under generating crowd support here. It, it's unbelievable. And, and, but you want them to provide that entertainment to those fans to get them back here to build on. And so, but they're, they're an unbelievable group of kids. They really, really are. And that's what we're proud of. And that's why they're going to get better. And they will, um, because they, this, a loss hasn't affected them and knocked them to the mat. We've gotten off the mat. We've always come back and had good practices and just continued to try to get better.